Today we're talking football, but we're talking flag football. With the American Flag Football League coming up to its final game on Thursday with the Pros vs. Joes for a million dollars, it's Brooklyn versus the AFFL. Welcome back to another edition of Brooklyn vs. Guys. I'm your host, Dr. Philly Cags. I got Mike, I got Donnie, and we're, oh, and we're, talking, we're talking American Flag Football League. Donnie, you got the hat, you got the memorabilia. Nice hat. What's going on with the league? It's actually a sick hat. It is a sick hat. I think we got a good league going on. I want to hear your thoughts. Okay, so this concept, it's such a, it's such a great, fresh concept. You have a lot of teams. There's over 100 teams, and they could actually, you could put together a pro team, I guess, you know, because it's affiliated with the NFL, and guys that are just retiring, freshly yeah. retired, or just guys like us can join a team for actually like a minimal league fee, and we could actually go out there and play against these guys. And if we win, the winner of the championship gets a million dollars in the million-dollar game, which is happening this Thursday, actually. I, I got to agree with you. I think it's awesome because how often do we, you know, when, when we used to play football, right. you'd love to see how you stacked up against some mm -hmm. of these guys. And now these guys are actually very good. They've been playing for a yeah. long time together, the quote-unquote the Joes. Right. Get a chance to see... You know, put your money where your mouth is, so yeah. to speak, and play against the pros. And, now, and you can see they're actually they're holding their own. They're doing <laughs> quite well. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's what's so amazing. You see these teams on paper, and you think, oh, oh this guy, they got Vic, they got all these, super, oh, these superstars that haven't been out of the yeah. league for that long. How are these, other, how are these guys, these Joes, going to be able to, to hang it in with them? But we're watching it, and they are. And that's oh. what's so cool about this league. A lot of people are, are whispering in my ear, telling me that the Joes can actually win this game. And there's a lot of different reasons. I'm being told the rules. They're very intricate rules, yeah. which are favored by the Joes. Because, you know, uh, let's be honest they with the pros. They're just, they're just a God-given ability. Exactly. You know? But the Joes have played flag football before. The right. pros, obviously, like you said, God-given, like Vic. He's yeah. probably one of the hardest guys to catch, but he's never played flag football. And these teams probably have never played together. You're probably getting a Joes team that's probably played together for what? 20 years maybe, 15, you know. Right. All those Joe teams have had such good chemistry. They know where they're all going. I think that plays a lot. The Joe team that's going to place the pros is fighting cancer. And the, yep. the, the pros team is Godspeed. That's with uh, Michael Johnson. Not even a football player. Sure. Yeah, actually, but keep, a legendary jack I keep runner. pointing this football. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm going to put the football, go the football here. Got, <laughs> yeah. got Michael Johnson. Seneca Wallace was part of the league. Chad Ochocinco. I know four set. For a set, that's right. You got to take a look at what's talking Job about. Job best, that was yeah. the other one. That's what I was thinking of. Jacoby Jones. Yeah. We're, took, we're taking a look at how great it is for Joes to play. But I got to say, I think it's pretty cool for the pros, too. This oh, is yeah. when when their playing career in the NFL comes to the end. You know, there's there could be another outlet right, for Right, because, I mean, that's the thing. I mean, the NFL is great and everything, but, you know, a, a lot of people leave the NFL at an early age, you know. And, and it's not, in terms of sports, football is not afford the same length of career as, of as other sports. So it gives these guys who are in amazing shape. You look at Ocho Cinco. I mean, you look at Vic. These guys, could they're amazing athletes that should still be, be playing. And this league lets them, yeah. affords them that uh, oh, absolutely. chance. Absolutely. Perfect example is um, DeMarco Murray. Played seven years in the NFL. Yeah. He's 30. He's still built like a beast. I'm sure he could still run in the low fours, mid fours for a 40. Next year, American Flag Football League, I mean, could be a they, you're building a team around this yeah. guy. And I would love to see it. I mean, we talked about yeah. why it's cool for the Joes, why, why it's cool for the pros. I mean, a reason why it's really cool for fans is, I mean, football season's short, right? And football, yeah. when football ends, people are immediately craving, you know, August. More football. You know, Absolutely. they're craving more football. So it's just a chance for us to continue to watch football throughout the year, which is great. Absolutely. And this yeah. is a time in, in sports where sports kind of ramp down a little bit. And gives you, like you said, more football. You know, wet the beak a little bit before uh, training yeah. camp comes sure. around. And, and another thing, completely safe also. Yeah. I would say 100% because obviously even running you could sustain an injury or two. But that's where... But way safer. That's where it's yeah. good for pros at the end right. of their career. Absolutely. Nice you, transition. You yep. got to love, you know, I'm going to I'm gonna ask you picks in a minute. But you got to love the, the flag football move. I don't know if you guys have seen, like, when the Joes... It's a move that you have to get down from flag football. You kind of, yeah. like kind of duck while still running. So when they go for your flag, you drop down to the ground and you're still able to run. Oh, you mean a dip? 
I'm sorry. That's how he earned I'm that. sorry. <laughs> That's right. You're the, you're the number one draft pick. Dip. Absolutely. Next, <laughs> next year. Next year, you, you want to show us what that looks like? Playing with the Winchell Warriors. <laughs> you and DeMarco Murray. <laughs> That's as low as you can get? <laughs> I'm wearing... He's I'm wearing... Sl- his pants are going to split. Isn't it slack? You did. Of course, you it's did the low not get drafted first overall. <laughs> that move. There it is. It was like yeah, an, all right. That was like an Elvis I th- kick. I think he's really like... He's trying to audition for one of these Joe teams next to you. <laughs> there you go. You see those hands? He's very slippery. Ball. All right, this is your <laughs> audition tape. Well, I mean, I don't know. We'll see how all it turns right. out. So, Donnie. I'll go, I'll go to Donnie first. <laughs> sure. God's Godspeed versus... Fighting cancer. Godspeed. Godspeed. Give me the pros. I'm going fighting cancer. I think they're going to be dipping all over the place, and they're going to carry it to a victory. I'm going to go with fighting cancer, too. I think you can't, overval- you can't undervalue the team chemistry playing together for so many years. They're gonna- I think they're going to get it done. They're going to shock the world. Cool. Like okay. Muhammad Ali said. Looking forward to Very watching. Very cool. Well, guys, make sure to tune in this Thursday on the NFL Network for the American Flag Football League Final. We're going to have a good game, and maybe, just maybe, the Joe's gonna upset the pros. Go right side. Oh, he couldn't even get a fumble. Those hands, you see those hands? He's right. He's I showing. Am number one I pick. He's showing. I'm like Tiki Bob, I'm number one pick. Tom Coughlin taught you well. <laughs> that was a different great gift, isn't it?